Okay, we're on this RGDA uh, Reed Ream Rood furnace still here, and I thought I'd go ahead and go through the uh, manifold pressure adjustments uh, and the like on this one. It's not a lot different from others, but uh, the gas valve is a bit different. Uh, it's a Robert Shaw valve, and I'll just show you where everything is on it. Yeah. Uh, that's the valve right there. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do some. Man it will do some input gas pressure tests, and we'll do uh, manifold pressure. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do inlet gas pressure testing. Now you see I've got an Allen wrench right there on this uh, fitting. If you take this fitting off, make sure your gas cock is shut off because this is not controlled. This is coming from your gas line inside the structure. So I'll pull this off and I'll put uh, the meter on it and we'll see what the inlet gas pressure is. Okay, we've got the manometer hooked up with our tap right here and we're showing uh, no pressure and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the gas now you can see we're at 8.38 uh, that's static though we don't have any gas running through so it's not a good way to measure what the running pressure is so we're going to go ahead and fire this furnace up okay gas is coming through and it's settling down looks like pretty much uh, 6.73 or 4 so that's a running gas pressure. Uh, minimum gas pressure is five uh, for this appliance. That's inlet pressure, not manifold pressure. So we're, uh, we're fine, no problem. Okay, one more thing I wanted to throw at you. Uh, we pulled that plug out of there, put the silly plug back in. Uh, I've done this. It's uh, pretty hilarious when that happens and uh, pretty dangerous too. Uh, fire going every which way. So put the plug back in and leak check it when you're done. Okay, here we are on the outlet side of the gas valve. Just so you make sure you understand. There's your manifold down here, coming up to here. Okay. Uh, this side here uh, that I just did, that's the inlet gas pressure. It's coming from outside the furnace uh, to inside. Okay, we're going to pull this one off. Okay, you can see we're hooked up here. We got our tap on here. We got the manometer over there. Our pressure regulator is right here. Now, this is just a cap. I'm going to pull that cap off and we will uh, check the pressure. Well, I've I won't pull it off until I'm ready to, to uh, check pressure on this, so I'm going to have to fire my furnace up. Okay, burner should be coming on. Okay, burners are coming on. Let this thing settle down a little bit. Okay, it's 3.73. If I want to adjust manifold pressure, I pull the cap off this thing. Now, it's showing 3.73, and I'm going to show you what the uh, plate says on this thing pretty quick here. It's supposed to be 3.5, so I will counterclockwise it. Okay. Okay, here's the model of serial plate, and you can see where it says NAT and LP. Look under NAT. You got uh, maximum gas supply pressure 7 inches, uh, minimum 5 inches. Manifold pressure, the bottom one just above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, is 3.5 inches, so it's 3.5.
Okay. And I'm going to put the cap back on. Tighten it. Don't think it changed any. Pretty much the same as it was. Uh, that's pretty much the adjustment for uh, manifold pressure on these things. If your manifold pressure is too low, make sure you check the input pressure. If you don't check the input pressure, you don't know that maybe you don't have a problem with the regulator from the utility or something like that. So just uh, take one thing at a time. Anyway, that is the pressure regulation on the, uh, the old uh, Robert Shaw Grayson valve. Uh, this is a factory replacement valve too because it has this uh, uh, fitting on it. It's a little uh, different than the rest. Anyway, that's uh, adjustment on the old uh, Ream RGDA.